Nolajant here at the Ibiza Brewery for Oktoberfest time. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajant. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for what to do in Louisiana, join us on this episode of our USA Travel Vlog as we head across Lake Pontchartrain to visit a German-American Oktoberfest celebration at Abita Brewing Company that makes some great beer. Abita Brewing Company is located in Covington, Louisiana at 21084 Louisiana 36, which is about 43 miles and 52 minutes from the New Orleans French Quarter. They've done some good decorations for their Oktoberfest celebrations as you can see right here. And they're gonna be hosting these Oktoberfest celebrations from September 15th through October 1st as they release four special Oktoberfest beers each weekend during their celebrations. Abita Brewing has long been one of my favorite beer brewers and I've certainly enjoyed many of the great varieties of Abita beer they have produced over the years. Abita Brewery has a great visitor center right here and their tap room inside has some wonderful stuff inside along with the beer garden on the patio there. So let's go ahead and head on in here and enjoy the Oktoberfest fun. And they've been brewing this beer since 1986. So they kind of know what they're doing by now. And I really have enjoyed a whole lot of their beers here. Although this is my very first Oktoberfest celebration here at their visitor center and tap room. So I'm really looking forward to it. And they've got a lot of great stuff on tap here. So you can see they've got a full menu of what's on tap right now. And then we've got some menus to check out here. So we have the year-round brews with Amber, Purple Haze, The Boot, Turbo Dog, Andy Gator, Straw Gator, Strawberry, Light. Then we have Hop 99, Giacomo, Lounging Iguanas, Alpha Gator. Then we have Seasonal and Limited Brews with Pecan L and Bubblegum IPA. Then we have our tap room exclusives with Alt Beer, originally from the Dusseldorf area of Germany. The German style Alt Beer makes a balance between hop and malt flavors and aromas, creating a medium body with a crisp hop forward ending. Oktoberfest, a Marzen style lager that has rich toasted malt flavors, somewhat sweet with caramel notes blended with earthy hops and medium light hop bitterness. This one finishes dry with a medium full body, Dunkelweizen, a dark version of a wheat beer. Dunkel is the German word for dark. This beer, like its lighter version, Hefeweizen, has flavors of clove and banana with a slight hint of caramel. Bourbon barrel aged stout, imperial stout that is aged in small batch bourbon barrels. Then we have Old Fashioned Pale Ale. This beer is inspired by the classic cocktail. It's brewed with malted barley and rye and then aged in small batch bourbon barrels for two and a half years. After aging, cherries, bitters, and orange peels are added. Then we have crafted cocktails with mojito, tiki rum punch, mimosa. Then we have legit strawberry lemonade, DDH Cryo M Milkshake IPA, thick mint chocolate stout, Neapolitan, Kokomo Cider, Kaviak IPA, and Keller Beer. Then we have our Oktoberfest schedule of events kicking off September 15th with Oktoberfest kickoff trivia. Then we have September 16th with karaoke night. And they'll also be having their first beer tapping of the Oktoberfest season with Keller Beer. September 17th is Oktoberfest game day. September 18th is Lederhosen buy one get one. If you wear your best Oktoberfest attire, you get to buy one beer, get one beer. Then you're also going to have a celebration on September 22nd with kegs and kettleballs. So there'll be a little exercise before the beer. Then September 23rd, karaoke and German cursing class along with the second beer tapping of the Dunkelweizen. On September 25th, a Stein holding contest. September 30th, Dunkelweizen tapping, except it's actually the alt beer tapping. Not sure why they got that uh, wording confused. Then on October 1st will be the Oktoberfest beer tapping. Okay, I've got to say I was a little bit disappointed they didn't really have an official keg tapping ceremony. They just had the keg ready to go. I also bought one of these glasses where you get a discount on your beer for life if you have this nice little half liter stein here. So of course that's a great deal. Now here we are for the Oktoberfest beer tapping where I'm getting the first official pour exactly at the two o'clock time. They indicated when the tapping was supposed to start 
and the beer was already hooked up though. So next year, I really uh, would suggest they do an official tapping just to make it a little more fun the way they do it in Munich. And actually even at the Deutsches House in New Orleans, we're now doing an official kickoff of the beer tapping. So that just makes it more fun. There we go, that was the official keg tapping. Here's the celebration, <laughs> yay. Here's the Oktoberfest beer for a sip. Ah. Mm. Prost. <laughs> Prost. Prost. There were plenty of events, such as the Stein Relay at 4 p.m. outside that I'm going to participate in just because uh, there's the possibility of winning some prizes. Here's the beer schedule again with the Keller beer, the Dunkelweizen, the Alt beer, and the Oktoberfest. So they do have this really great park area that's right next to the Abita Brewing Company, which is uh, quite a pleasant space, and they're having some of the events out here. So this is where we're going to be having some adventures, and they have such fantastic sports like keg bowling here, along with some food vendors out here today. So the Slider Taxi here has quite a nice variety of different kinds of sliders here. We've got Muddy's Deutsch Bratz and Schnitzel with a Schnitzel Sandwich. They have Sauerkraut Balls and Bratwurst. So a nice selection there. Then we have Simplice Pizza with a Flammenkuch, a Pepperoni, a Margarita, and then a Cheese Pizza. So it looks like you gotta get a whole pizza in those slices. Okay, it's time to get started with the Stein Relay now. Who's up next? Me. All right. Woo! She got the barefoot advantage. Oh, whoa. Oh, where'd they go? She's doing the crane hole. She's doing the crane hole. She's got a canteen. She's got the confidence. 14.32. Everyone's a winner, of course. But the winner of the Stein Relay, first place, our first Stein Relay, it's going to be Nick. He was fast. He's got those good running shoes. And volume loss. He had the best time and right about almost the best amount of spillage. So, combine those two scores together. And you got it. Those steins are good for discounted refills for life, y'all. So, every time you come in, bring them in. And, um,. I got your gift card right here. Free beer for this. Yeah. 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 I really do. That was all yeah. you. I appreciate Thanks. you. Thanks. Really Thanks. Happy oh, all right, it's time to head back into the tap room as we have more adventures ahead of us. We're going to do a tour of the brewery. So let's head on inside here. So I thought I was looking a little chubby in the uh, Stein Relay race as I hurt my knee back in July 4th and it still hurts. I haven't been able to do as much running as I usually do, but I'm looking a little more svelte in these photos, so maybe that was a camera distortion. I think my shirt was just kind of untucked a whole lot. I don't look quite as chubby in these photos as I did in the Stein Relay win, so that's a little confidence uh, building there. All right, let's get our beat of culture on tap. Wow. 
Ого-го-го-го-го! So the only real bad news about this area of the tour is there was no beer drinking inside the actual tank brewing area. As we all have that fantasy of pouring the beer direct from the tank. Ooh, but that doesn't happen. But thanks for coming and they want to know about your experience with photos at a beer brewery. Now we're going back up here to the bar because there's still party stuff going here with music. So, thanks so much to everybody at Abita Brewery for several weekends of fun. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nola Gent channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts who would enjoy it. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nola Gent here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.